Hey guys, I want to have a fun video with you today. I wanted to get to the heart of this whole thing with Neville Goddard and why he wanted us to write down, I will not climb a ladder or I will not get this money or I will not do this, do, will not do this, that or this, this, whatever it is. But yet you're going to sleep every night and you're imagining that you're actually completing this, counting money, whatever it is, you're creating wealth in your abundance or you're climbing a ladder. Why is this? Why did Neville Goddard have this? And I want to everyone to leave their comments and questions below. I want to know if you agree with me. I want to know if you disagree with me. And I want to know your ideas on this as well. I've already got some from you guys, but I believe um, this is what I, my consensus or my conclusions that I drew from this is you're, you're, when you're pushing something away, say it kind of goes back to earlier videos when I would bring up the fact that if you're, if you're trying so hard to get something, you're trying this so hard, I want this money and you're imagining it, you're imagining it. And during the day, you're trying to bring it to you. So you're putting that vibration out that you don't have it. You're putting out this feeling that you don't have it because you're going after it, you're chasing it, you're not doing nothing, okay? So maybe that's what Neville Goddard was putting, was getting at, is when you write, I will not, I will not climb a ladder, you're doing nothing, okay? You're doing nothing to fulfill that end. You're not trying, you're just, but you're falling asleep with it, so it's gonna bring it to you even closer. So I feel that that was a, a, one of the elements that why Neville Goddard used that because you're you're telling the universe ultimately that you already have it by by not chasing after it you're telling it that, so it's going to bring it to you it thinks that you already have it and you're telling it that you don't have it okay also I wanted to bring in if when will and imagination are in conflict imagination is going to win every time but that's another method that was my first the first idea that I had why Neville Goddard did this because it doesn't matter what you fall asleep with or, or what you do during the day. If you fall asleep doing something, it's going to happen because you're programming the subconscious mind to re to rearrange your world to create, to come to that end. Once you're doing something and you fall asleep with a certain feeling that it's going to reproduce that in your visible world. So it doesn't matter what you do during the day because will, when will and imagination are in conflict, imagination is going to be going to prevail every single time. So that was my first idea, which is still up in the air. I want to know what you guys think. So leave, make sure you leave your comments if you, if you agree with me. Also, I believe that we're going to bring in the whole pink elephant type deal. Um, I did get a comment about this. I wanted to bring this up in this video. Um, like if, if I were to say to you right now, okay, stop what you're doing and listen to me right now. If I were to say, don't think of a pink elephant, you thought of a pink elephant. I promise you, you did. And, and, and it doesn't matter, but even if you try not to think of the pink elephant, as you're thinking of the elephant, all of the pink elephant, if you're not trying to, but you're thinking of it, okay, it's going to appear when you try not to do something. So it's kind of like the pink elephant in the room type thing, where if I say, don't think of a pink elephant, you're going to think of it, okay, it's going to happen. So this is another reason, another theory behind why Neville Goddard wanted to write down, I will not climb this ladder, because as soon as you, every time you think, you see a note, I'm not going to climb a ladder, you're climbing a ladder in your, in your imagination, even during the day, drawing the thing closer to you, because this, this process or this this technique that I used, because the first time that I climbed the ladder, I did it for seven days or the eighth day I climbed the ladder. This time it was the third day. It was this after the second night of climbing a ladder and having the notes everywhere. When I was seeing him not to climb a ladder, I even, I even told the guy, even when the ladder was in front of me, I said, I'm not climbing the ladder. I'm afraid of heights or I made up all kinds of excuses why I couldn't climb a ladder. I got somebody else to climb a ladder. They get hung up, they almost fall. I'm forced to climb this ladder to save this person from falling off the ladder which um, it just, it, the universe unfolded and created a, a sequence of events to happen that led me to climbing a ladder, no matter what, how hard I tried not to climb a ladder, it just happened. And ladders were everywhere. I was seeing them everywhere also. And it was just drawing it closer to me. And I always had it in my mind because I'm thinking to myself, I'm not to climb a ladder. So I've got to look, I'm looking out not to climb this ladder. So I'm keeping the ladder in my mind and it's drawing it just like the pink elephant thing. I'm constantly keeping this in my mind, even during the day, not only am I doing it, during the night as I'm sleeping, but I'm doing it during the day. So I wanted to, I wanted to bring this out and I wanted to share this with you guys. And I want to know your comments and questions on this. Very, very, I'm very, very interested if you agree with me, if you have any other ideas. But I also wanted to get into, I wanted to reiterate a little bit. My, the main feeling that I have from this is, is why his technique was this is because he wanted you to take in the feeling that you already have it. And I, and I believe that a lot of my exercises to come are going to implement this, this technique for this reason, because I feel that this technique pushes it 
it, it, it tells you to push it away. Like you don't want it, but yet it's doing the opposite. It's bringing it closer to you because you're, you're telling the universe, you're putting out these frequencies that you, that you already have it because you're, you're pushing it away. Cause if you have, if you have, say, say for example, you had $10 trillion. Okay. If, and if there's money around you, you don't care about it. You're like, get that money away from me. I, I have, I have so much money. I don't even know what to do with. You're pushing it away, but it's still coming to you because you're telling the universe that you have this $10 trillion. It's already in you. You, you don't care about it. You're, you're pushing it away. You know, I don't know. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. So you're sure so you're drawing it in. That's my ultimate conclusion or consensus of the technique is that when you're, when you're pushing, you push it, when you're like pushing it away or saying, I don't want to do this is because you already have it. You don't need it. You're pushing, you're getting rid of that need that I need to do this, or I need money, or I need to do this. But I want to see your comments and questions, guys. If you haven't subscribed, it's your first time on this channel. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below and give me the thumbs up so we can get this out to as many people as possible. And I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start, um, putting this into my exercise. I'm going to start coming, I'm going to come up with a different technique, maybe not writing it down, but I want to come up with a good technique and I want your ideas on that as well. I'm going to come up with a good uh, technique that, that actually does the exact same thing as writing it down. I will not do it, which will draw it closer to us. All right, guys, I love you and I hope you like this video. I'll talk to you soon.